Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're gonna to be making a wreath. This is the first one of hopefully many, but I wanna take this one a different direction than I normally take my wreaths. Usually I do fairly traditional round wreaths um, using mostly natural stuff. Today, I'm gonna to be centering this wreath design around this cute ornament that I picked up at Joann's. It was marked $9.99, but I got it 60% off, so right around $4. And the rest of the materials for this wreath I'm going to harvest out of my own garden. And I wanna do it in a way, hopefully, that doesn't take a ton of stuff, like a ton of greens and a ton of branches and all that kind of thing. Because, you know, sometimes you just don't have access to that much stuff and you wanna make something pretty and natural for the most part. Um, so anyway, that is what I'm hopeful for today. Um, of course, I'll be using some wire and twine and a, probably a little dab of hot glue here and there. So anyway, what I'm going to do first is run around the garden and I'm going to gather just a few things. Cheddar is totally scratching my leg up right now. You can't use me as a scratching post, especially when I'm talking to everyone. It's kind of rude. Okay, so I'm going to go gather everything up and we'll kind of show you where I'm getting it from. And then I want to bring it to a table and kind of spread it out and go through each one of the elements. The first thing I grabbed were these branches. These are from an old, huge juniper tree we have. I cut a couple branches that were already dead and needed to come out anyway. Um, one of them had a tiny bit of life on the end, which I'm gonna use these probably in this wreath. Look at those berries. Aren't those beautiful? Oh, I love them so much. Um, and I just think that using branches that already have so much interest in the bark, and then I left some of the little stems on, will make this wreath even prettier because this is gonna form our base and we're gonna see a lot of it. The rest of the stuff is right here in this bucket and there's not very much. I got three tiny little branches off my winterberry hollies that we just planted. I thought it would be really pretty to kind of play up the red with the berries and the cardinal. I got two pieces of blue spruce, that's it. And then five pieces of North Pole Arborvita. These are just so beautiful and soft and they smell really good. And then two pieces or two stems of spent lilac which these right here I may or may not use because there's a lot of interest in a lot of branch and brown and stuff in the branches, but I don't know. I mean, that might add some really pretty natural texture. And then in terms of other supplies, I have my pruners, I have my hot glue gun, extra glue sticks, my ornament here, wire, I don't know if I'm gonna need this, maybe, and some twine. And you can really use any kind of branch that you want to form your base. Um, you, of course, the more interesting, the better. Like if you could get your hands on some birch branches, that would be beautiful, especially if you have a darkly colored door. Um, you just wanna make sure you can get six pieces at about the same length and relatively straight, like as straight as possible, which can be a little bit tough to find out in the garden. I really kind of had to look over each branch and make sure I was taking things that were usable for this. So now I'm going to attempt to put this together. I think we're gonna try to get an overhead shot so hopefully you can see all the detail and then I will show you what it looks like in the end.
Oh my gosh, you guys, it turned out so cute. I love it. I'll hang it up here in a minute so we can get a better angle and that's when I'll kind of go through the steps of what I did. Super easy to build. Uh, but I did forget to mention this right here. So this is something I still have yet to attach uh, to the back of the middle branch right here. So I'm gonna go grab Aaron and see if he'll hold the wreath while I use the drill to attach this. Hopefully it's easy to do. Okay, so here we go. Ooh. Okay, we got the hanger installed. I feel like you could put this on a door or a wall inside or outside. You can use it pretty much anywhere and it would be really fun. I'm going to spray it with Wilt Stop first. This is it right here. This is made from a pine resin and it coats your greens and keeps them fresh all season long. I used this on all my containers last year and when I pulled stuff out to plant pansies in March, like end of February, beginning of March, um, all my greens were still fresh and pliable, which that never happens, especially when you use like Arborvita or cedar that tends to dry out a little quicker. So anyway, we're just gonna give this a spray quick. Okay, let's go hang it and see how it looks. So I decided to hang it on the tool shed door for now. I think it looks really good. This whole building has kind of a lean to the right and you can see this is the next project I need to do. I haven't put anything for winter in there yet, but I think the white solid background is really good for this wreath because it just contrasts it beautifully. And since the branches are irregularly shaped, it doesn't matter that all the seams and the doorway actually kind of leans to the right. <laughs> you don't even notice it. So let me run through the steps really quick on how I constructed it. Um, so I just laid out the three back branches and then laid the other three on top and then put a little bit of hot glue under each one of these. And then when that was dry, I came through with twine just for some extra reinforcement and tied off every single joint. So then I just started attaching my greens and I attached kind of a bunch of them right going this way. There's a stem of juniper, Colorado blue spruce. There's the arborvita right here and here. So those kind of go this way. And then going up, we've got another stem of arborvita, winterberry hollies, and juniper. So all of those are wired in. And then the cardinal is wired in as well. So the body of this underneath all the little red feathers is foam. And so I just poked a piece of wire into the bottom, bottom of the cardinal. It sounds kind of violent, but it went in really nicely and kind of secured in there and then I just wired it off to the back so this isn't going anywhere. And the last couple of things I did, I used a few spent lilac branches or flower heads, seed heads, um, up in the corner there and hot glued those in and that's pretty much it. So, so easy, it took about 30 minutes. And that is exactly what I wanted from this project. I just wanted to show you guys a way to create something unique and like every one of them is gonna be different because every one of us has different things in our yard, but we didn't need a ton of supplies to do it because sometimes it can get a little discouraging. Um, if you wanna create something on your own out of natural elements, it can be one, expensive, it can be hard to locate all of the different elements. Uh, maybe you have them planted in your yard, but they're just baby plants and you have to give them a few years before you feel comfortable cutting enough to create something from them. Um, so in all of those cases, you know, you can go out and gather just a few things and create something really fun. And every one of them is gonna be different and unique. I mean, you don't have to go rustic with the Cardinal. You can take it any direction you want. Um, so anyway, I just thought it would be a fun project and I'm hoping that it encouraged you and inspired you to create something at your house. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.